Hi friends, I am Rijo Joy. Today we are just planning to cover the topic Azure Fendor Custom Domain. So what is the learning objective we are discussing today? Azure Fendor DNS Zone Manager and Azure Fendor Supporting Domain and HTTP Certificate and DNS Configuration and Demo Azure Fendor Custom Domain. So how to we can create the custom domain. So first we will go for the uh, what is the custom domain in the Azure Fendor. So here you can see custom domain means you can add the your own domain in the dns uh, in the azure fendor so uh, what is the dns zone manage means in azure fendor you can manage your zone dns zone using azure dns or other hosting provider other hosting provider is like a godaddy or is like a namecheap or whatever the service provider you can use for the other hosting provider so azure dns you don't want to create any ts record or anything because azure fendor automatically create the all the document and is complete give the validation also but you are using the other hosting uh, other hosting provider so you need to provide the manually add the tst records because uh, once you create the fendor they will create the tst record you need to copy the tst record and you need to paste in the hosting provider so now you understand uh, what is the DNS zone manage in the Azure front door. So just we will go for supporting domains in the Azure front door. So what are the type of domains supporting for the Azure front door? So first we will see here you can see Apex domain, Wildcard domain and subdomain. So what is Apex domain? Apex domain is you can see here prijoskill.com. So here you don't have any subdomain or anything like this one. It's like a plain domain, Rejoskill domain. It's also called the root domain. Okay. So here you can see wildcard domain means star dot .com. Because if example uh, apple dot .com, whatever the subdomain will be coming, it's automatically take rejoskill.com, right? Subdomain means you manually add your sub uh, root. Okay, so, test.rejoskill.com apple.rejoskill.com, mango.rejoskill.com. So whatever the sub, sub data you want, host you want, you just add this one, okay? So here you can see Apex domain, Azure Fendor recommend to using the Apex domain, so Azure managed DNS. When you are using uh, like a root domain, it's like rejoskill.com or like apple.com anything. So Azure will be recommended for using the Azure managed DNS. So DNS protocol prevented the assign the same. What is the reason means DNS protocol uh, prevented to assign the CNAME record at the zone apex domain. So what is the re uh, reason means you cannot create your CNAME when you are using in the uh, root domain. So what happened once you example you, you cannot point your uh, uh, point to the record to the another hosting service. Okay. So that's why CNAME not supporting for the apex domain. So here you can uh, here you can see the example. If your domain is rejoskill.com, uh, you can create a C, a C name record for myapplication.rejoskill.com, but you cannot create the C name record for the rejoskill itself. So subdomain you can create the C name record, but you cannot create with the uh, like uh, your root domain. So you you now understand Apex domain. Uh, you is better to use uh, DNS record managed by the Azure. So wildcard domain also Azure Fendor managed certificate can used for the wildcard domain. So if example you are using Azure wildcard domain, yeah, Azure Fendor managed certificate cannot be used for the wildcard. And you need to bring your own certificate, SSL certificate, and enable the HTTP for the wildcard domain. Subdomain have no any issue. Okay. So now you understand what is the domain will be uh, supporting for the Azure Fendor. Apex domain, wildcard domain and subdomain. So now you will go for the domain validation. So what is the domain validation? When you add your custom domain, the Azure will be provide the options. So what is option here available? Non-Azure validation domain and Azure pre-validation domain. So here you can go for what is a non-Azure validation domain mean? Domain that are not validated by the Azure service domain type can be hosted with any DNS service Azure managed DNS because that 
domain not using by the Azure service. That is a non-Azure validation, do validation domain. So Azure pre-validation domain means that domain that has been validated by the another supporting Azure service. So you using uh, any domain like any domain, that domain is already used for the Azure service. So that uh, that one is like Azure pre-validation domain. Currently, Azure only for supporting from the pre-validation domain, Azure static web app. Enable HTTPS means you need to enable your IP test transfer protocol in the Azure vendor. So how do we can enable? There are two type of certificate type available for the Azure vendor. One means Azure managed certificate, another one bring your own certificate. So we will check what is the certificate managed by the Azure vendor. So Azure vendor man completely handle the certificate and it will be do the rotation and it procure and the renewal. Everything will be managed with the Azure vendor. So what is bring your own certificate means you own this process then through the integration with the Azure keyword. So you need to bring your own certificate. You, you, you can purchase your certificate from DigiLocker or whatever the certificate provider. Then you need to upload that certificate in the keyword. Then you need to connect with your Azure vendor. This process then through the integration with the Azure keyword. So you need to bring your own certificate. You, you, you can purchase your certificate from DigiLocker or whatever the certificate provider. Then you need to upload that certificate in the keyword. Then you need to connect with your Azure vendor. So now you understand what is the HTTPS, how to we can interview. There are two supporting services and Azure managed uh, certificate and one for bring your own certificate. So next we will go for purchasing the certificate to enable HA feature. Azure vendor currently only support for the key vault account and same subscription in the Azure vendor configuration. This is one of the important things. Uh, Azure vendor only supporting whatever the subscription is in the Azure keyword. Example, the keyword is another subscription. Uh, they will not support for the Azure because it will be failed. So the subscription should be same in the Azure vendor. Then only will be supporting for the uh, bring your own certificate. Okay. So now you understand that is the one of the more important is configuration. When you add domain your Azure vendor profile, you configure two records. What first record is uh, DNS uh, TXT record. So next one is uh, DNS CNAME record. So what is TXT record? You need to validate your own domain. So you need to add this DNS record in the sorry this TXT record in your DNS managed. So here you can see uh, example my application resource skill. Then the DNS will be the TXT record will be coming this. If you are using uh, Azure vendor uh, managed uh, DNS you, because this automatically will be validated. And CNAME means you need to point your record to uh, your Azure front door. Okay, if this is the uh, CNAME record, then example you www dot uh, then your CNAME uh, name and your record is this one. They will point to your uh, URL to and the Azure front door. But this all and the custom managed. But if you are using Azure DNS, this automatically validates from the Azure uh, DNS service. Okay. So let's we will go for our lab. We what lab I plan to doing? I will create first custom domain managed by the Azure DNS and another one custom domain managed by the hosting provider. So now we reach our Azure port. So what is my lab first one? We needed to create our custom domain managed by the Azure DNS. So what is the my first task? We needed to create the DNS zone. So because we needed to create the DNS zone, then only we can uh, create the manage by the Azure DNS. So what we will do? We just go for create the DNS zone. So you just click create. So what is the resource group? You are already resource group is there. You can choose from here. So I just go for uh, I have already one uh, demo custom domain DNS. So I just create that one. Then you need to enter your DNS resource So what happened? I put the name resource If you not put like this one, it's coming like an error. So just every time just give me the correct DNS. So resource Then next tag. So just after that, review and create. So just waiting for the validation. So our first task will be completed. We created the DNS zone. So just validation pass, just click create. 
So now the deployment is succeeded. So we will go for the resources. Okay. So here you can see the name server, name one, server one and two and three. So copy this name server. So where you are the register. Example you purchase from the DNS body or name chip. Just where you are purchased, just copy the name server. So I just go for here because I am already uh, add our name server. So here you can see uh, name server NS1 and NS2 and NS3. So we are old. If you need to change, change the name server like this. So just to copy your name server. So I am using the Godard. So I just already copied my name server. So I just skip this step. So here you can come and also you can check NS lookup. If you after copy, you can see here your name server is working fine. So just now our uh, resourceskill.com is complete. So my next tax create the Azure friend. So just click the Azure friend. So here uh, you need to create the friend. So just click it. So here uh, you already describe everything. Uh, I just uh, go for currently. I just go for create the custom created. If you have any doubt, watch my previous video. I will give the below description. So just go for continue create the Azure friend. So here you need to choose your resource group. I already have the resource group. I just go for this one and I already is to us and then after that give the name of your friend one. So currently this demo custom custom domain friend one. Just to go for premium or standard. Uh, both will be support for the custom domain. I just go for the standard. Next step for create secret. This is the custom certificate you need to add. So once you click this one, you need to keep alt. But this uh, topic will be covered after this video. Okay. So next we will go for the next endpoint. So just to click the endpoint and add the endpoint. So what is the endpoint name? Resource field. So here you can see automatically create your endpoint. Okay. Then after that add your endpoint. So now we need to create our route. So just to click route. And here you need to enter your name of the route. Route rejoice skill. Okay. Then after that, already endpoint is created. And here you can see domain. So whatever the domain you need to add. So I just click add domain. So here domain type non Azure validate domain and Azure pre validate domain. So currently this is non Azure pre validate domain because we are not using that domain in the any. And also it's only supported for the static web. Okay. So in the pre-validation domain, so I just click the uh, non-Azure validation domain and the DNS manager who is managing our DNS, Azure friend or Azure manage the DNS. So I just select. So this one I needed to select our DNS one. If you you can select your because we already created resourceskill.com. So here you need to add your custom domain. You can add a new custom domain or you can create all the scene. So currently what I do, I just add a new, I just select Apex domain, then click OK. So now the DNS zone Apex domain, I will select. So the certificate type is AFT manager and what TLS 1.2, then click add. So now here you can see, you, this is your default uh, domain name and from the Azure friend zone, this is your custom domain, resource skill tool. So after that, you need to accept it. If uh, one of the important, if you are using Azure managed DNS, it will be support for the both STF, HTTP and HTTPS. If you are using custom domain managed by yourself, only accept for HTTPS. Okay. So after that, you need to add the origin group. So here you need to enter the name of your origin. So origin rejo skill.com. Then after, sorry, rejo skill. Okay, then you need to create the origin. So, what is your origin name? Uh, origin resource skill demo. Okay, and origin type currently I, I have uh, any type because I am not create anything. So, just I will go for custom, then I will add the any website you are. So I just go Google, google.com. So this is the custom domain I will, because I am not create any web app or web. So I just click custom. But if you have any doubt, just to put the name Facebook, I just go for Facebook. So 
so I just copy Facebook so I just add the Facebook uh, so to enable the subject name validation no need to because they will check the certificate so we don't want the enable the validation because they will check the both side is uh, the certificate is name is okay so i don't want to enable the validation stp and stt80 and 40 and priority is one and weight is another but remaining all configuration will be go for the default and just i will click it so now uh, our uh, facebook i will add one uh, url custom url facebook.com and here also same uh, health prop all i go to default and sample size 4 and successful sample is 3 all topic i cover the my previous video just to watch the my previous video you can get the more ideas so just i will click card so now origin group also added so just we needed to go for path path i will refresh and see uh, forward pro uh, protocol i will click for the matching incoming request so you don't want to enable the cache because this only demo purpose i just leave it so just i will create add so now what happened our route rule will be created and i will add the policy for WAF policy i just go for demo custom dns so select okay then after that WAF policy just create the WAF policy wf policy we need to create then click create then save so now yeah because this one is unvalidated so just we will uh, review and create why this because we need to validate this one so that's why it's showing the unvalidated one so just click review and create so validation is passed then click create so it to take a little bit time so the deployment is processes so i just pause my video after completed i will come back see now our deployment is completed so just we will go for our resources okay this is our custom domain friend door already create our friend door so just we will go for the endpoint host name this is our default endpoint host name created for the azure friend door. just to copy this one so we need to check it's working or fine we see now click so what is our aim when you click this url your url will be routed to facebook.com so just we will click then enter yeah so now our route will be working fine because what is the reason because we will enter our url so what we will route we route when the url will be entered the url will be going to the facebook.com so my aim in when you type rejoskill.com rejoskill.com it will be go for where in our facebook dot currently not going so what we will do we just go for now the azure friend or validate everything so just to go into azure friend or just to click your custom you can click from here or you can click from here so here you can see uh, your domain name rejo skill profession success but painting so just we will go for our domain so here you can see what is the status validation state is pending so we just click this one so here you need to validate so how to we can validate we because this record will be managed with the, our Azure DNS so otherwise you need to copy this record in the your uh, example in the godaddy or something like that so currently our dns is managed with the azure friend so we will go for our dns we, we just click our dns because we already create our dns so here now any record is not added okay so just we will go for here they are already told DNS records you your domain be linked with the Azure DNS zone click add button then to add above DNS record to your DNS so you just click add it so it automatically populated for your DNS so after that regenerate the TS if you need to regenerate it just click regenerate so currently we don't want because we already add our DNS 
when we will click okay so just you can go for here you just go for refresh see now our dns record is added in the whatever we create in the uh, azure dns so now you can see our record is automatically added here okay so just we will go for again close it so just to refresh so now the validation status is pending so just we need to waiting for the validation state will be changed it take little bit time see now you can see here our validation state is approved so it take little bit time uh, so now the we can see here now our validation is state is approved so what you can see now the pending task because you needed to certificate is deployed so here is uh, dns state pro so just what create the alias record so just click it this one so this one also uh, if managed by the azure dns so we need to just click only add it. your domain being linked with azure dns so click add button to add the above dns record so just click add so updating your dns record See now our record is updated so everything will be changed so you can see here dns state traffic will be delivered so go for your dns zone just click here see a, a record is added a record is friend or standard ritual skill alias will be targeted by the ritual skill.com so now you understand because alias resources so name is that is the name already added here so just we uh, now we will uh, go for our uh, domain uh, just rejoskill.com so if rejoskill.com when you click it then this will be going to the facebook so we before already refresh so just click refresh so it take little bit time just we will wait for again this take a little bit time it's refresh so just to refresh because the completion of the azure friend just you need to click see now the facebook.com is working because i told you it take little bit time for completion so now you understand you can see now it's facebook once you click rejoskill.com then it will be pointed to your facebook page. so now you and here you can traffic it now you understand how to we can add your custom domain managed by the azure dns understand how to you can add your custom domain in azure managed dns so now i wind up my topic so the continuity will be coming for my next video how to we can add our custom domain not manage with the azure dns so currently i wind up my topic if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much